The lindworm, also called lindorm snake, lindorm in Scandinavia, and lindworm in Germany, is a large serpent-like dragon from European mythology and folklore. The name consists of two Germanic roots, meaning roughly ensnaring serpent. In Norway and Denmark, Lindorm commonly refers to a sea serpent, while in modern Dutch, Lintworm refers to a kind of tube worm. The Lindworm is similar in appearance to a knucker or a tatzel worm, but of much larger size. Legends report either two or no legs with or without wings. Lindworms of Germanic heraldry and folklore often have legs. Lindworms were associated with pestilence, ate cattle and bodies, sometimes invading churchyards and eating the dead from cemeteries. When the creature is known as the white worm, its sighting was thought to be an exceptional sign of good luck. The shed skin of a lindworm was believed to greatly increase a person's knowledge about nature and medicine. Marco Polo reported seeing lindworms on the steppes of Central Asia. Marco Polo expressed on his newspaper that at the province of Karajan, located in the southeastern Asia, he met this type of immense and frightful serpent dragon. He said that these dragons had two front legs near their heads and had lion-slash-hawk-like feet. They also possessed a mouth big enough that they could swallow a man at the first bite. During the 19th century, the Swedish folklorist Gunnar Olaf Halten Cavalius reunited an anthology that compiled a great amount of stories about these legendary creatures from Sweden. The belief in the reality of lindworms persisted well into the 19th century in some parts. The Swedish folklorist Gunnar Olaf Hjelten Cavalius collected in the mid-19th century stories of legendary creatures in Sweden. He met several people in Småland, Sweden, that said they had encountered giant snakes, sometimes equipped with a long mane. He gathered around 50 eyewitness reports, and in 1884, he set up a big reward for a captured specimen, dead or alive. Hylton Cavalius was ridiculed by Swedish scholars, and since nobody ever managed to claim the reward, it resulted in a cryptozoological defeat. Rumors about lindworms as actual animals in small land rapidly died out. The dragon Fafnir from the Vulsunga saga is known plainly as a lindworm in the Nibelungen Lied. A famous Austrian lindworm was said to harass the city of Klagenfurt in the 7th century, flooding threatened travelers along the river, and the presence of a dragon was blamed. The story tells that a duke offered a reward for anyone who could catch it, so just some young men tied a bull to a chain, and when the lindworm swallowed the bull, it was hooked like a fish and killed. In 1335, when the skull of a woolly rhinoceros was found in a cave nearby, it was believed to be a dragon's skull. Saxo Grammaticus begins his story about Ragnar Lodbrok, a semi-legendary king of Denmark and Sweden, by telling of how a certain Thora Borgar Kjort receives a cute baby lindworm curled up inside of a casket as a gift from her father, Herr Herauder, the Earl of Gutaland. As the lindworm grows, it eventually encircles the hall of the Earl and takes Thora hostage, demanding to be supplied with no less than one ox a day, until she is freed by a young man in fur trousers named Ragnar, who thus obtains the byname of Ludbrock, Harry Bridges, and becomes Thora's husband. In the tale of Prince Lindworm, also King Lindworm, from Scandinavian folklore, a hideous lindworm is born as one of twins to a queen who, in an effort to overcome her childless situation, had followed the advice of an old crone who tells her to eat two onions. She did not peel the first onion, causing the first twin to be a lindworm. The second twin boy is perfect in every way. 
When he grows up and sets off to find a bride, the Linworm insists that a bride be found for him before his younger brother can marry. Since his bride must love him willingly, and none of the chosen maidens do, he, each new, he eats new, each new bride they bring him. This creates a slight problem for the kingdom until a shepherd's daughter, who spoke to the same crone, is brought to marry him. She comes wearing every dress she owns. The Linworm takes her tells her to take off her dress, but she insists he shed his skin for each dress she removes. Eventually he is out of skin, and underneath is a handsome prince. Some versions of the story omit the Linworm's twin, and the gender of the soothsayer varies. <laughs>